Hi, I'm Mrs. DeWitt, and the following problems come from my Facing Geometry book, and then we're going to talk about, about numbers 19 and 20 because those are sometimes tricky for students. So, volume of pyramids. So, we're going to start with the volume formula, which is one third length times width times height. And then let's look at that pyramid and let's label what our length is. So, my length. You can see right there is my length. So we've got L is our length, which is 10. My width is also 10, so I'm going to plug in 10 for my width. It's the height, though, that causes us some problems. So a lot of times people think that the 13 is the height of the pyramid, but it's not. The height is actually from the top of the pyramid to the base in the middle. Um, this, this right here is the slant height, which is not what this H is referring to. So what you need to do is you need to draw a line straight down from that top uh, of your pyramid. That looks like that. And then goes parallel over, so we went straight down and we're going parallel over, parallel to our length here. And this is actually going to be a right triangle now right in here. So you can see that they're parallel. And so this side is five. Now, how do I know that? Well, if this whole thing is 10, when we go straight down from here to here, this is going to be half of your length. So we know that this is five. So then over to the side, I'm going to uh, draw out this little invisible triangle so we can see it. That looks a way that we're more used to seeing a right triangle. So you can see here now I've got my five, and that's the base right here. And then this 13 is the slant height, which is right here. But we wanna find the actual height of our pyramid. So the actual height, we can use Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, or we can just know that this is a special right triangle. Again, here I've labeled the right triangle so you can see that it's a right triangle now. And if you uh, know your special right triangles, you know it's a 5, 12, 13. And again, you can use the Pythagorean theorem to find that as well. If you didn't know, it, just know that it was 12. So now we're going to take this 12 and plug it in from my height. And when you multiply that out, I like to multiply the 1 third by the 12. So that becomes 4. 4 times 10 times 10. So your answer is 400 meters or millimeters cubed. Don't forget those units. Those are important. And there we have our answer, which means that it is choice A, so you should have colored the ears, nose, and face apricot. Which is sometimes find, hard to find an apricot crayon, uh, but you can always use a light orange. All right, the next uh, problem, number 20, same issue occurs in 20 that occurred in 19. We start with our formula. I'm going to label my length here as 12. My width is also 12 because we have a square base there. And then my height is what I, I don't know. And again, don't be tricked into thinking the slant height is your height. Your height is from the top of the pyramid straight down. So again, it forms that right triangle here, right inside there. And so you know if this whole this side is what you're trying to going to be what you're trying to find. So this whole side was 12. So half of 12, since this base is a square, is this side's going to be 6. So if I draw that triangle off to the side so we can see it a little more clearly, we've got our 6, 6 here's there, and then this diagonal right here is this diagonal, which is my slant height, which is 8. And then now I... This one, I'm not so sure. I, I might have been tricked into thinking it was a 3, 4, 5, but this is not, uh, if this were an 8, then we could have said it was uh, similar to a 3, 4, 5. But here we are, we're going to have to use the Pythagorean theorem. So I'll do a squared plus, we'll call that side x, x squared equals 8 squared. So we've got 36 plus x squared equals 64. Uh, subtract 36 from both sides. So we have 28. So x is going to equal the square root of 28. Now I could break that down, but I'm just going to leave it as is for now. So we take our square root of 28, which is now our heights right here, and that's what we're going to plug in for my height of my pyramid. 
And then if I multiply that out, let's see, three, one third of 12 is 44, and then four times 12 is 48 right there. So that all gives me 48. I'll just keep the square root of 28. And I'm gonna punch this in on my calculator because they don't have a radical answer here. So the square root of 28, when you type that in times 48, ends up being 253.99212. And if you look at your choices, you can say, hmm, what's that really close to? Well, if you round up, you're going to get 254. Oops, look, I forgot my uh, units there, so add in your meters cubed. And there you have it. All right, so let me walk you through two more problems if you need some extra practice. So... Oh, I'm showing you all my answers first. No, come back. Okay, so number 21. Now 21, this is not one that people usually uh, miss because this one is what you would expect. It gives you the length and the width, and then they're nice here. Unlike in 19 and 20, here they give you the height. The height is just six. So you 16 times 16 times six. And then you can just multiply that out and you get 512 feet cubed. So again, notice the difference in the, the two problems. Here, they give you the height from the top to the center of your uh, base, so you're good. You have the height, where that's different than here. Here, this is not the height. This is the slant height. So we're in this problem, it's back to being like numbers 19 and 20 that we just did, where we have to figure out what is the actual height of the pyramid. Again, we start with our formula. Our length we can see is six. Our width is six. And then again, I'm gonna draw that height from the top straight to the middle. So if this whole thing here is six, we know that this is half of six because the whole way across would be six. So half of six is three. And again, I like to see that triangle drawn out a little bit here. So my base is three again, slant height is seven. And now we actually need to find the height of the pyramid. So we'll call that X. Again, this is not a special right triangle that I just know by memory, so I'm going to do Pythagorean theorem. x squared plus 3 squared equals 7 squared, or x squared plus 9 equals 49. Subtract 9 from both sides, so you get uh, x squared equals 40. Take the square root of both sides. Technically, it's plus or minus the square root of 40, but we know that we can't have a uh, negative height here, so we just say, oh, it's positive square root of 40. Now, there's my height, it's not pretty. I could factor that down, I could pull out a two or more. Um, but I'm going to, I can see my answer choices here are decimals, so I'm gonna punch it into my calculator anyway. So I've got square root of 40 there, my length again was six, my width is six, my height is the square root of 40. Let's multiply those coefficients out, we'll get, uh, let's see, that was 12 because three went to six two times, two times six is 12, and then I have the square root of 40 is still there. I punch that in my calculator, square root of 40 times 12, and I got 75.89466, and that is approximately, when I look at my answer choices, 75.9. And then don't forget your units, inches cubed, because proper notation is important. All right, well, I hope that helped uh, clarify any questions you may have had. Uh, hope you're enjoying the books that I wrote, and have a great time in math. Bye.